The Nigerian Guild of Investigative Journalists, NGIJ, an association of seasoned newsmen from the 36 states of Nigeria, driven by thirst for professionalism and role of the media to make the government accountable to the governed. After a successful conclusion of the governor's assessment report of Kogi State, the Guild proceeded to bias the state to conduct an in-depth analysis and investigation on the performance of Governor Sarah K. Dixon for the past eight years. During the visit to Bayasa State, the Guild spoke with stakeholders such as traditional rulers, politicians, market women, and the grassroots people of the state. The team, led by the President, Mr. Wale Abedin, met with the President of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Bayasa State Council, Mr. Samo Numonengi, to discuss the Guild's intentions and to fill questionnaires for the survey. The team later went round to speak to Biasens and fill their post on the eight years administration of Governor Dixon. Um, well, as uh, our present government as governor had spending the money, eh? the way that he's spending it, he know uh, he has his people, not everybody. He has his people. And some of the NGO leaders that have been used for the year 2015 eh, election, he abandoned them until now. He's not paying any money to them. They are being angry. You know, let the governor know what to do in the state. Because the election, if you don't do well before the election, they don't blame anybody. Nobody will go do election with, with hungry. We never. Angel leaders that work for him from the year 2015, they abandon them. He want to keep them hungry before they want to go and do an election. For which election? Person never chop, he won't go wrestle. He won't make the person fall die. I'm Mr. Monema Fosbury, a retired uh, civil servant. Good day, yes. The present administration in Bayesta State has improved infrastructure development. What can you say about that, sir? Has uh, he improved the infrastructure of the state? The infrastructure de uh, development, I think I told you earlier now, he has tried a little bit. Okay. Uh, they are not sensitive to, to civil service because as, as I'm talking to you, I'm a pensioner. Uh, my graduate has not been paid to me, so it's not sincere to rot. You are a pensioner? Yes. When, sir? 2015. And your graduate has not been paid? They have not been paid. The People's Democratic Party Deputy Chairman in Bayasta State, Honorable Chief Sam Mateki, explained what Governor Sarah K. Dixon has done for the past eight years. You know, people are looking for jobs in the state. The civil servants should know that Bayasta was not created for them. And they are not the only Bayasans. If you look at the percentage of uh, the funds that come to the state that is used to service the public service, eh? The, the population of buyers that are not civil servants should rather be complaining. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you don't have legs and somebody has given you walking stick. You now start complaining that uh, this walking stick is not fine enough. You understand? That's the situation of buyers. Now, to assist them, he introduced a health insurance scheme where every month they pay little amount from their salary. And whenever they fall sick with members of their, their family, they go and get, you know, treated. That is a way of caring for, you know, civil servants, their salaries, you know, are paid. Because there are many things to be done in Bayelsa. The chairman, Bayelsa State Council of Traditional Rulers, King Alfred Dieter Spiff, also spoke extensively on the state of the nation and the reality of Bayelsa State. So on health grounds, a, a, a new diagnostic center have been built next to the um, university, uh, medical university. So that too is on ground. We, um, the road infrastructure also had gone into Sagbama. Now you can drive finally and step on uh, from Sagbama to Keremon. So every aspect of uh, human endeavor have been touched by this government. The chairman of civil liberty organizations in Bayasa State and the frontline Niger Delta activist, I Chief James Nengi, on his part, lambasted Governor Sarah K. Dixon for implementing projects which he termed has less impact on the citizens' well-being. Better, but the grassroots people, as I'm talking, you are in Bayasa State. And the only areas that are enjoying 24 hours light 
are either operate uh, IOCs that is supplying them the lights or the electricity. Otherwise, you are in Niger you are in state capital. Uh, I will want somebody to switch that uh, button whether there is light. Uh, no, just switch it. Is there light? Yeah, I want to confirm that. Uh, so that is the scenario we are experiencing in Bayelsa State. Bayelsa State, if you go out here, they will inform you Bayelsa State is having electricity. As I'm talking to you, please, the Yenagua is a state couple. One quarter of the Yenagua is not having light. Uh, education, yes, there are a lot of houses that we are built. But building houses is not education. If, yeah, we have to separate education from building blocks. Yeah, the structural blocks will lead us to something I want to tell you or inform you. NVDC, <coughs> as I'm talking now, abandoned approximately about 500 or 5,000 projects in Bayelsa alone, the highest. Thank God. I believe on practicalism. These are abandoned projects. Combined and researched by us. These, these are the things we suffer. When you go to the rural areas, I show you NDDC document first. We expect that this NDDC will do, give us a blessing more because of our fracas with Mr. Bassenjo after his resumption of duty. After four years, I was in crack squad and founder of the Joe Youth Council. Kayama declaration you are talking about. Practically, I'm one of them. And at that forum in Port Harcourt, by the grace of God, when our, we, are, we use our youthful exuberancy to hold him to, for, to work, and he said he will do something. There, after he proposed this NDDC, we ought, it ought to be a blessing. But the NDDC is becoming a political environment for political patronage. The team also visited the Bayasta State Police Command, where the police PRO, as the name Botswat, highlighted security measures in place to secure Bayasans. The Maritime Department of the Operation Dorpo, which has also been carrying on patrols on our water waterways. So this is a huge investment that the government has done in terms of security to assist the command to complement the effort of Bayasta State. And aside that, we have been having a very robust working relationship with the Office of the SA Security, uh, who deals with the commands and inform the government about our activities and uh, how we can uh, partner and work to ensure peace and safety of life in the Meanwhile, the media advisor to the All Progressive Congress governorship candidates in Bayelsa State said the people of the state are not happy with the performance of the People's Democratic Party vis a vis Governor Dixon and they are yearning for a change. Our brother Dixon has been a governor in this state for eight years. Nobody is perfect. He may have done some one or two good things. Some can appreciate him. Some cannot appreciate it. It's a natural thing. For me, the basic problem we have in Bayelsa is abject poverty, distrust, disunity among the citizens of Bayelsa. Apparently, maybe by the inability of the government to bring people together. That has invariably created a lot of insecurity in the state. Baesa is a very small state. Nyenagua, the state capital, today, is like glorified area the market. People come, all the little, little roads are scattered, can't drive well, people can't sleep well. By all righteousness, the situation we encounter today in Bayes are supposed not to have happened.
According to the Nigerian Guild of Investigative Journalists President, Mr. Wale Abedin, the governor's assessment reports on Bayasa State will be unveiled before the end of September, even as all efforts to speak with the governments of the state proved abortive. <laughs>